So in our previous video, we have installed Termix API. In this video, we are going to see how we can utilize this API uh, and see all the other things which we usually uh, see through our graphical interface, how we can see it through our terminal. So let's just clear out the screen first. And let's just do apt update. And let's just clear out again one more time. And let's just do apt update as well. Upgrade, sorry. So after running uh, any package installation, uh, you should do apt update and apt upgrade uh, to upgrade all the other packages into the system. So apt update and apt upgrade is done. Let's just clear out the screen. All right, now let's just run few basic API commands and see what we can do with Termix API. So let's just type Termix hyphen brightness. And you don't have to, by the way, remember these commands. You just have to type the few words of the command and then you can press this tab button, the second last, uh, the, the second button uh, after the escape. You just have to press it so it will complete the command and all you have to do is you have to provide the argument after this command uh, so you can provide argument uh, from 0 till 255 so 0 is very low brightness so let's just type 0 so you might get this error while running this term brightness command uh, so you can see it's showing me the error permission is not granted for write settings uh, so this might happen so all you have to do is you have to grant the permission which i'm not going to do it right now uh, but i'm going to show you the other command which is term x uh, battery status you just have to type ba and then you have to press the tab button and let's just hit enter and you can see the health of the battery the percentage and the battery is plugged or not plugged or it's charging and the temperature right now right so all these details you can see uh, just running termix battery status command so you can see the battery status as well uh, there are a few other commands let me show those commands as well so the next command is camera info so you just you just have to type termix camera and you just have to type info and let's just hit enter so you can see the complete detail of the cameras installed in this android phone so zero is the id of the camera which is the backwards camera as you can see facing is backward right and all the width height and all the other things you can see it and then there is another camera which is a front camera you can see the facing is front and the size and all the dimensions so you can see all the other details you can see all the camera details by just clicking on one command and you can see all the details of a camera and what type of cameras installed on your system so let's just try some other commands as well let's just do termix camera photo and then you have to give the argument with hyphen C, the ID of the camera through which you want to take the photo. So let's just type one. And then you have to provide the file name. Let's just do it test. 
dot jpg and let's just hit enter and let's just do ls so you can see there is a test.jpg uh, file is saved uh, which was taken with the camera so this is how you use termix camera photo command uh, and this is how you use your, your all the sensors which are installed on your system uh, on your android system through uh, termix so these are few basic commands which you use through termix